Yo guys, before this video starts, I just want to ask you guys if you can like and subscribe, um, as it really supports the channel. Second thing, make sure in the Discord server, for example, if you guys want to do any challenges with me or give me suggestions, you can go in there. We hang out, do giveaways, announcements, all that good stuff. And third and final thing, make sure to join my group as, you know, we um, have new merch there and you can buy it to support um, the group and we can eventually do giveaways if you get enough merch sold. But with all being said, let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so there are going to be some requirements to this. First off, you're going to need tiny task. Tiny task, I'm not going to put any downloads in the description because I don't want to be risky and like get you guys a virus because it is kind of risky to download if you do not know what you're doing. I'm not going to put a random link because I don't know, it could get a virus if you don't know what you're doing. So I rec recommend going on YouTube and just searching up um, how to download tiny tasks and should be able to do it because that's what I do too. Um, and second thing, you're going to want your main monitor that you're recording everything on. You're going to want to um, have your anime adventures open. And make sure it's down into the server settings and make sure it's open or like it's scrolled on just enough so you can see the join button because you need to have it so you join um do the thing exit out and join back as a loop so you can end it off joining back so first off you're going to actually start off by joining the game um now the one unit you're going to need to use um if that's legendary is going to be erwin um erwin i found a way to um basically afk macro him um with only him and that can get like 2.5 thousand every single 10 hours now, like I was saying in the intro, there is more efficient ways, for example, get to wave 25 on Marine Fort is more efficient, but that requires, you know, farming, getting mythical, stuff like that. It's a lot more complicated. This is super easy to record, super, super easy, all that stuff. But yeah, once you have Erwin, I will say, um, you might need a level 50 or something. You have to have a pretty high earn level, that's what I'm trying to say. So if you don't have a high earn level, just do some regular, like, uh, story modes and stuff like that on um, uh, Toku Google Map or something. And, um... Basically, just uh, get to um, him pretty high level, um, but then you're also gonna make sure in your prefixes, pre prefixes over here. Um, first of all, the settings I have right here, to make sure it's on one x speed. You don't want it to be too fast, or else it'll mess up the whole entire thing. Make sure it's on continuous playback. Um, and make sure it's always on top. Show captions, I guess. I don't know. I have these on. And make sure your playback hotkey is something you can um, easily do. Um, because if you uh, do not have a continuous playback button, you're gonna have to like. Uh, Find a way to stop the macro, which is kind of annoying. So all you have to do is press F12 for me, and then boom, it's fine. Um, your recording hockey doesn't really matter because you can just record up here, which is what I do. So when you're in here, you're not gonna remove anything. I hope you guys are not moving anything because you're gonna need to leave and we're gonna do that again. Um, basically, you're not gonna need to move anything. Do not move your camera angle, for example, if you do like this one time. Um, you're gonna need to leave and join back because you just messed up the whole entire recording. Um, at least you didn't record though, so it's not too bad. Um, once you're in the um, game, I'll show you the exact macro to do. Um, and it really just consists of going into um, Marine Ford Games Wave 10 um, while only placing urns, then you should be chill. So basically, when you're in the game, like I said, do not move anything. Make sure your prefixes are on these stuff. And basically, you're going to click record, come down here, double tap W, then you're going to hold shift and move to the left at the same time so you're fast. And then you're going to come into the play section, come in your way about like right there or something, come up to here, hug the wall just like this, then move into here. Um, and also, you might get stuck on the little edge when you're moving, so I recommend tapping S, holding down A for like two seconds, and then holding down W so you do not get stuck. And then once you're in there, you know for sure you will be in there. You're gonna go into Marine Ford. Make sure you have it selected just like this. And you wanna select hard mode, select it, and then press start. You can tap it a little bit so you make sure you know you actually selected it because it will take a. There's a lot of waste of time if you do not start it instantly. So then you will get teleported into Marine Ford Infinite Mode obviously and really this is a super easy macro that's exactly why i'm making this because it's a super easy macro that most people can do and all you need to is an urn that's a sort of high level mine does have a passive but it's only range and it has nothing to do with damage or spa or anything like that so, and you're not going to want to select um yes over here to vote start to keep on clicking that for a little bit so you make sure you hit it just like this i'm still clicking just like that to, after like 5 seconds it should be good because, I don't know, depending on your internet, you might may need to click it longer so if you like take a long time to load in, just like this. And once you um, have your Irwins or your money, you want to wait a little bit, I probably say the timer goes down at the top uh, up here. And you can probably start placing like just like this. I don't really care if you guys place it, just like place it somewhere on the map. You can go back and place it a little bit to make sure to press like 1 and then click, 1 and then click, 1 and then click, just make sure you do not miss anything. And then after you know for sure you would have them down on every single macro you do ever in the middle of the night that you would have them always placed down. You're going to want to start upgrading and just a little change just like this. Upgrade, upgrade, up, upgrade. 
And this is really it. It's this simple, guys. All you do is an upgrade chain and really just start upgrading. And like I was saying, depending on your urban level, you might have to get um like try like keep on doing this, but after a while I'll just stop upgrade chaining because that should be um good to go because I have a really high level Erwin, max level. Um, so yeah, I don't know how long you guys are gonna have to upgrade for like level 30 or level 50 or or something like that. So I actually prefer getting him at least level 50. Um, I'm just gonna keep on upgrading like this. And this is really it. I'll probably get two guys back when um you know we're done. Um, like upgrading our wins and stuff like that. But just basically keep on upgrading him like this. Alright, it's not way five. I probably am chill. Um, I don't really have to do anything right now. 2420, um, 1498, and 1000 should be enough. And now you can just sit right here, and you have to wait. Now, basically, you're gonna want to get to wave 10. That's obviously the whole entire goal. And if you saw wave 10, you're gonna be going on for a little bit longer. Then you need to be probably make it to like wave, um, like 12 or something. So I've been testing them out a little bit. I think the way to sell. It's probably, if you want to be exactly safe, I recommend selling at wave 8. If you think you can go a little bit more risklier, I would suggest selling like middle of wave 7, sometime around there. And you should be good to go. What I'm going to do right now is I'm not going to play it safe to go for the most efficient one to get the most gems. I'm going to count that once that's 7 to like 15 or something. So I'm going to go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then I'm going to sell my Erwins. And this should be a good strategy since um, my original strategy was to sell like um once it turned wave 7 and like after like 3 seconds. But that would either get to wave right at the end of wave 9 or barely hit wave 10 so it was not that efficient. But this one, you should be able to get wave 10 every single time pretty easily, which is pretty good. And you could probably get this macro down like every single six minutes or something, which is pretty good. Um, obviously, this is a pretty good macro for newer players that are only using Erwin. And like I said, you could probably do this with like a lower level Erwin. I could try if you guys want me to, like on, on my alt account and get Erwin and try doing it with like, a, I don't know, um, like a level 30 Erwin or something. But uh, um, I guess we'd have to see. So this should get you to wave um, a 10. Like I said, we're already at wave 9. And they just started to push in after the horses are gone from Erwin. So this should be good. I'm probably going to skip ahead to when, you know, it's wave 10 or when we die. So I can show you guys that it works. Alright guys, it is about to be wave 10. And as you can see, the Marine officers are almost heading base. They're going around the roundabout thing over there. And they're going to come back around and then basically they'll be dead. So you should be dead like 10 seconds after it's wave 10. I'm not sure exactly. But like I said, you also do not want to die like a exactly at wave 10 because obviously some rounds are going to be different from others you might not get it. So that's why you have to wait a little bit after wave 10 happens if you want to be um efficient and get wave 10 every single time to get 30 gems um, but boom we died and we died with some time with some time to spare so um this should be good we should be able to get wave 30 every single time now after you defeat it you're going to want to wait like 15 to 30 seconds because like i was saying not all infinite modes are the same and you might in turn like get to um uh, you might, uh, like, maybe we just died now, and what if you automatically click the next arrow and then exit out of it, and you would have, um, ruined the macro, but after, well, I'm gonna stop at, like, wave, I mean, we're in seven minutes up there, so just around there, we're gonna stop right here, we're gonna come up here, exit out of here, this is why you not need to be not in full screen, they're going to join their game over here, and after, oh my gosh, are you serious? Just don't, don't worry about that, that should not be on your screen, but anyways, it shouldn't really affect my macro, anyways, um, and just like this, uh, once you're in, in the game, you can probably wait till like 7 minutes 30 seconds up here at the top, right? When you can see my macro time. I will, 7 minutes 30 seconds, I'll stop the macro. Just like so, so we come up. And boom, we'll stop the macro right there. Now you should be good to go. The macro should start playing, and make sure it's on continuous playback. 1x speed, always on top, all this good stuff. And when I press play, you should come over here. Um, go forward, come over here like this. Just like so. It should join into my match, um, and then do infinite mode. Let's just test it out. I'll show you guys right here that it will at least get into the match. I won't do the whole entire macro, but if you guys want me to do like anything to help you, help us like make this a little bit easier, like get to my arm to a certain level or something, then uh, yeah, I'll do it. Um, or if you want me to do a little bit sort of like basically like sloth mode, so you guys get the macro down perfectly, 
Like as you can see, it is joining up in here into the infinite mode. It's going to select hard mode. It's gonna join in and press start. It's like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And if we load it in and see if it's been good, then yeah, basically this is good. Um, but yeah, if you just every single seven minutes and three seconds, um, you can get that down to what eight every single um hour. Eight times thirty is what two hundred sixty, I think. Uh, eight, six, and twenty-four. No, two hundred forty. So that's what two thousand four hundred every single ten hours, which is extremely good. As way better than time chamber, for example. Time chamber gives like a with with the IP on too. 1200 like every single 10 hours something like that and non VIP this is like literally quadrupling the time you make in one night if you do not have VIP so VIP is basically useless in this game if you can just macro like this boom it should place down the Irwins and if we see place down the Irwins we should be good to go we can make sure to like go to sleep go to whatever we want and take a nap I don't know because the Irwins are like this all right boom so as you can see it is working just like that I can stop the macro because I don't want to do this again right now because on the app I stopped the macro right there um, I did record because, well, um, I don't know, F12 is a recording button on here. But yeah, that's really good if this video, if this helped you in any way, make sure to like and subscribe, join the Discord server, get my merch right here, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in this one, guys. Peace.